So uh, here at Froggy 101, we have a budget of zero, and uh, my budget is pretty much steal things from other people's offices and make wonderful signs out of used cardboard from past events. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. oh no! Oh, 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 oh almost no. broke. Through. How long did it take you to make this? Uh, it took about ten minutes or so. I and, see. Uh, like you cut and pasted all no, the I, logos. No, I don't have paste. I use all Verix tape. Oh. <laughs> yes, you do. Anyway. So. <laughs> After cutting and pasting it, I came up with this ransom looking sign. It looks mm -hmm. like a ransom note. But you got it done. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and I got to say, Crockett, you work really hard. Because when we, when we ask you to help us out, like, you go right to it. It's true. You really do. But there, there are a couple things going on with this sign. First of all, um, you're giving away Jack Ingram. Whoops. Um, I well, don't know if Jack Ingram has approved this it was, yet. It was supposed to say tickets right there. Just use your imagination. <laughs> um, Jack Ingram is selling his soul to the wake-up call, apparently. No problem. I got I got that working out here. And and I don't know if you got the memo. Jack Ingram is not part of Guitars and Stars. That's actually a, a, a different concert. Do you have any idea how long it took me <laughs> to cut those stars out? It took forever. Man, this sign looks professional. All right, we need to go find Jesse Roberts and tell her to get Jack Ingram on Guitars and Stars because I'm not changing this sign. Or just call Jack Ingram himself and find out if we can just give him away for a night. Maybe I'll just put all our faces over the Guitars and Stars. <laughs> I'll put a big close-up. Why don't you just change it to Win Eric Peterson? I don't think Eric likes the idea. We're an equal opportunity to employ her. Take a look. <laughs> I gotta work. I like it. I'm not changing it. What did I say? Did I say?